Hey, this is Pastor Rick. Are you hot-tempered? Are you a mean person? Are you tough to get along with? <laughs> I call this talk hot-tempered. <laughs> the Bible says something to you. Some of you, you accept it too. You go, I, I get mad now. I'll let people have it. <laughs> if you're like that, the Bible says stay away from you. <laughs> it does. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. It says it. It says to run from people like you. Don't be your friend. Don't hang around you because you're dangerous. You get people all in trouble. They fool around with you. Now listen, <laughs> listen to this. This is in Proverbs 22. This is one of the best verses I ran across in a while. This is so cool. Listen to what it says. It says, do not make friends with a hot tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. Think about that. What a verse. <laughs> Proverbs 22. You got to write that down. Do not be friends. And some of you are around some people right now. And you know, if they're hearing this, God is talking to them. And God is saying, run from them. <laughs> Don't run yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't run yet. Just think about it for a second. Now, here's what's interesting to me. When I read that verse, I thought that is one of the strongest in the Bible. It really is. You know, be angry and sin not. It's a great verse in the New Testament, you know. But this one just really says something great. Because what he says is they'll infect you. And you'll start acting like them. You know, sometimes you're a nice person, right? You're really fine. You got along, hey, hey, friendly there. But then you got around grumpy, and now you're grumping. And, what you want? And, <laughs> you get around these mean people, and you start. I, I, want, I want to say anything. You know, it's so, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but it's just the truth. It's the truth. And I don't know, and I have, I have let me say, let me say, oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to win this or not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to just hang with me. I'm going to say it. Here we go. In our politics, it's gotten grumpy. It's got mean. Oh my goodness. I mean, and I mean, we owe that to you know the recent um, <laughs> leadership. I'll say it like that. Now, I am not a me person when it comes to um, the past president, or, or I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. But, but, but you got to admit, a lot of grumpiness going on in politics. This is grumpy. This is, uh, even the senators look grumpy. I ain't voting for that. That's evil. And everything, everything. You know, and everybody's in this space. It's, it's so amazing. I mean, um, I, you know, you got grumpy people, you know, charging at the Capitol, you know, a few weeks ago. If you're watching this later on in life, you missed it. You know, wow, you should have been there. Uh, <laughs> it was amazing to watch on television all these people uh, jumping and climbing in the Capitol, thinking, wow, and they were grumpy, mad, grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. So you see, my point is it spreads. That's the point I'm trying to make. And it starts with, you know, a grumpy leader, Grumpy followers, grumpy daddy, grumpy mommy, grumpy children, grumpy grandchildren. Everybody's grump. Everybody, everybody. So maybe we should just learn from this. Being hot-tempered makes you a dangerous person. Always complaining and jumping on things, and it just leads to a bad place. So what do you do? You know, stop. Just stop. It's not the best way to live. And it makes you... Uh, a person that should be avoided, not embraced. I know there are issues you want to fight for and there are things you want to stand up for. Stand up for them, but you don't have to be like this. You don't have to be hateful. You don't have to be mean. Now, do my best with that today. Think about it. Father, help us today not be grumpy. Help us to not be people who are hot-tempered. Help us to learn how to communicate our passions without being mean and unkind. In Jesus' name. Hey, my name is Pastor Rick. Stay sharp and don't be grumpy. See you next time. Bye-bye.